So I'm actually we're like doubling down on my last like video though like two hours ago because I felt like really happy that I like just fucking did it. And so a friend of mine called me and I like we were just talking a little bit and I told her I'm like, you know, you know, I just I, I don't know because I was on the topic of vulnerability and I'm just like, you know, going in on it. I'm just, you know, like being even more honest. And I told her I made a video about it. She knows that like I'm not like someone who makes videos and stuff. But like me telling her that actually like it's it was so like I could just tell that it made her feel so comfortable. And then she started telling me about this her like one of her uh, like her I think it was like her boss that like simply put it's like it resonated so much with her that it like and it allowed for us to just realize like oh shit you know like wow like this is something that people are not used to and like it's so needed like like I'm not gonna say our demographic but I can only speak from that standpoint it's like yo I feel like we are we're longing that you know like that is what's gonna make us connect and it was just so comfortable to just like start the conversation off without any like ego involved and just like yo you know xyz and it just felt really good because it just made me feel like wow you know she it made her feel as good as it made me feel to do it and i think that you know if we all like if just people just you know just start embracing that like this is definitely the new energy that is needed in this world you know people are tired of the cap like it's just you know it's definitely like not as whack it truly is and it's like you know this is the new shit just be real everyone has problems like we all literally have problems that we're just keeping in ourselves because we want to seem like we're cooler than fucking it matters it doesn't matter life is not about how it's about how much can you experience and regurgitate in an, in a way that could be understandable for to others by where they can maybe learn from it or something not like like that at that old that's an that's an old energy you know winning and doing things and then just keeping it on the low you know having an upper hand and you know wearing it on your shoulder like we're done with that like i i'm definitely like in my business like i don't like i used to deal with like a lot of like i mean my, i had a b2b business so most of my clients were middle-aged and older men and not like not all you know i'm not even generalizing or stereotyping but simply put i didn't like the way that they like i just didn't like it, it was so so hierarchical and like so like they you know it didn't seem like they were really like sharing with one another they were like i just didn't like it it actually like sparked um, a part of like who i became in business because i didn't like how tiered it was it was like you know why why is everyone always at the bottom and we don't want to be like that like it's only like that because people keep that knowledge away people you know people tend to, that was an old energy to get knowledge and hoard it secret energy you know, you know like that's not what's gonna what that does is that that's just people's attempt to monopolize power which is over like you know the name of my company is new world energy because it's needed and i feel like I've, I've never made it. I've probably like made more videos tonight than I've made in like a year. Well, maybe that's like, you know, six months or something. But it's like, this is what I need to do. Like, it's like, this is the only way I could do it. And fuck it. If it seems like all, like, you know, whatever, I don't even care. This is like what resonates with me and the girl I just spoke to. It just literally, I seen her open up just because I was like, I began the fucking conversation like with vulnerability and was just like, you know. It's what's needed. Like we need that. I want to hear other people's vulnerabilities because life is hard. Even when you're winning or losing, it's equally as hard. Life is not easy. It's not meant to be easy, and it's not meant to be like you know, one-sided. 
it's not one side of this, you know? Life is ups and downs. Like, li life is, you know, a uh, like, life is a splitting of one thing, which is going to mix two polar opposites, which thereby, it's like, you know, it's, life is a rhythmic fluctuation between two opposites. So why is it that, like, one opposite seems to be ignored? And that opposite is our darkness. Our, that, that opposite is our, what's not cool, what we were told was, makes us worse or something. Like, as if it's even true, no. We all have these, it's crazy. I like heard this, I remember it was a, like a while ago, but like I heard, I was taking, I took my films like one night and like I heard, I heard this song called The Freaks Come Out At Night. The Freaks Come, and it was an old song. And I was like, oh shit. Like, that was like a long time ago, but it's so true. Like we all have those parts of us. Like we're all, like, and it's usually at night when we tend to <clears throat> embody the behavior that we try to like cover in the day you know like people fucking smoke weed all night get high all night and then try to act like they're like good in them like i mean as if they don't like why like why why that's the problem that we can't embrace who we are it's like we can only live like on one side which is why why is it like a lot of this feeling because it's not real so, I want to live in that. You know, definitely. And, yeah, I really want to get used to doing this. And equally, when things are good, you know, when I'm winning, I win too. Ready? We all have the up, you know, but really, uh, the, the reason for my, the actual, like, purpose of, my ch of this thing is to start to put to put information out there uh, to start making aware making people aware of the, the opportunities that are currently like developing in the in the the amount that they it's it's, it's truly remarkable how little people know about how much everything is changing and I'm because it's in the space that I'm in like I'm 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 privy to it but like the like the only thing comparable with, uh, that I could say is probably like computers but how computers change the world but like the amount of work that has to be done to to get us to become this you know clean economy energy efficient economy is, is just as much work that had to be done to actually build out everything that we see so it's like you know, and every government agency and every, like, you know, it's like there's so much effort being put out, so much money being put forward to make people aware, to make technologies affordable, to, to, to train, to help subsidize. Like, it is beyond crazy how, how much they're, like, trying to... It, it, it's taking that much to get people to do something they're not comfortable but they're like you know I mean they're damn near giving it away it's like you know that's the only way it's going to be adopted but they're they're doubling down they're really doing it and I'm in a space I'm I, I have a company that has partaken in this for the last five years and we've grown and I've come to learn a lot about it and what I'm what we're doing what I'm in the process of designing and rebuilding out right now is like you know it's a vehicle to take full advantage of all these opportunities that are coming about and that's going to mean a lot of opportunities for others too you know like it's not just me like it's like clean energy is going to be everything's going to be clean you got solar you got clean hvac you got you know the infrastructure of the, like the smart network buildings you got building envelope upgrades you got um like actual like real utility infrastructure change such as like demand energy response like uh, uh, like different ways that people are actually buying energy which are like facilitating 